Imagine being able to indulge in your favorite carbs, yet you still improve your health significantly. How is that? Through the magic of resistant starch, a type of carbohydrate that acts just like dietary fiber. Unlike regular starches that get digested in our small intestines, resistant starch travels through the small intestine. We don't have the enzymes to digest it. It makes its way to the large intestine almost unchanged, where it does amazing things for the body. It's essentially a prebiotic. That means it feeds the good bacteria in our gut, known as probiotics. And these feeding frenzies results in the production of a beneficial compound like butyrate, a short chain fatty acid that's powerhouse for our gut health. You see, butyrate not only strengthens your gut lining, it makes it less permeable to bad bacteria as well as those toxins, but also it provides those anti-inflammatory benefits, helping to soothe and protect your digestive system. And what's more is resistant starch plays a crucial role in improving your body's insulin sensitivity, optimizing how your cells use sugar. This is particularly exciting because better insulin sensitivity can aid in controlling your blood sugar levels and possibly reducing the risks associated with type two diabetes as well as obesity. Now, the big question is, how can you get more of this super starch in your diet? Let's talk about rice. By cooking your rice and then letting it cool for 24 hours in your refrigerator, a process known as retrogradation, this takes place, increasing the rice-resistant starch. The content becomes more resistant, meaning that the part of the rice will move through our digestive tract with less caloric impact which is fantastic if you're looking to eat your rice, manage your calories, as well as not putting on that weight. And here's the fun bonus. This method works similarly with other starchy favorites like potatoes, pasta, and even bread, particularly if you freeze your bread overnight. But when it comes to resistant starch, rice seems to give you the most as compared to the others. So the next time you're in your kitchen, give this simple technique a try. Not only could you enjoy improved digestion and a healthier gut, but you might also notice a pleasant change in your energy levels and your overall well-being. It's a crafty way of making your meals work for you with tasty carbs, that rice still on that menu. So why not transform your rice game today and experience these incredible benefits firsthand? I know the majority of people love white rice, but different types of rice will indeed have varying levels of resistant starch, both before and after cooking, as well as cooling. And here's a general comparison. Now, when we look at brown rice, typically brown rice contains more fiber than white rice. It will develop more slightly resistant starch than white rice after cooking and cooling. This is because it retains that bran layer, which can influence starch structure. And when it comes to basmati and jasmine rice, these are long grain varieties that have been somewhat higher potentially in forming that resistant starch compared to standard white rice, especially when cooked al dente and then cooled. Remember, all rices, when they're cooled, when you reheat it up, you still possibly will build more resistant starch, but you will never lose it, which is a blessing. And if you like wild rice, obviously it's not a true rice, but a grain that can have a higher fiber content it will also form more resistant starch after cooling. Overall, choosing whole grains, that's the key. Get rid of those processed foods if you can, because the more the whole grain is, the more resistant starch you're gonna get. But although, when you use white rice, you are still gonna get that resistant starch. That means you're not gonna get those calories, and you're still gonna build that healthy microbiome because that resistant starch is going to feed those probiotics and it's going to keep you a lot healthier. But remember, reheating it is perfectly safe. And the most important thing is moderation. So I hope that you love eating your rice because when you refrigerate it 24 hours or even overnight, you're going to benefit tremendously and get that resistant starch and that's going to keep your body healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.